We all use the test muzzle as an indicator. So you, you have to qualify the test muzzle to start with. You, ha you have to make sure that it's a um, acceptable muscle to go by, which means you want to make sure the body is not locked up. We use to unlock the muscle, we use the north side of the magnet, and the north side of the magnet touches the, the, the body. The north pole of the magnet sedates the agonist muscle, and the south pole of the magnet will sedate the antagonist muscle. Now, that's, that's not the only way to turn off a muscle. In kinesiology, we use the word autogenic uh, sedation. You can do that by pinching the spindle cells together, or you can do that by pulling the Golgi tendons apart. If you do that, that should weaken the muscle for one contraction only. And some patients will complain that uh, when you pinch the skin, it bruises them. So, in my case, we use the magnet. I keep a magnet in every treatment room for that purpose. So that, that's one way to do, it, to do it. North Pole against the skin. How about another volunteer here? Somebody that feels like maybe they've been under some stress lately? Here we go. Here we go. North Pole. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You, wait. <laughs> you, usually, usually, it's every muscle in the body. You know, not always, but usually. Okay. So if you didn't know she's locked up, you're using the muscle test as your indicator, you're not going to find anything. So you mistakenly think that she's okay, not, not realizing that there's something wrong with your indicator to start with. Now, there's a professor at the Texas College in Houston who wrote a book, I.W. Harper, and he's, the title of his book is Anything Can Cause Anything, which means there are many, many things that could cause a person to be locked up. But I'm here to teach you some shortcuts. <clears throat> and the two most common reasons a person would be locked up would be a defect in the heart chakra or a subluxation of the cervical spine. Those are the two most common reasons a person would be locked up. Now, later on, we're going to talk um, <clears throat> we're, we're, we're going to talk uh, in detail about the chakras, but, but um, each chakra responds to a different color. The heart chakra responds to the color green. So we put the green on her. We're going to retest to see if that did any good or not. It did no good. So now we're down to the, 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 the cervical spine. So um, <clears throat> she's going to touch the cervical spine. And now she's unlocked. Now you can you can you can actually pinpoint it to which cervical vertebrae it is. So this is C two. We did an activator on C two, and now we ask the body. How are you now? And she says, I'm okay. Yes. 
So now I say to the patient, okay, now that you're unlocked, we can proceed. Here's, here's the strongest muscle in the body. See, that's normal. But it wouldn't unlock until we, we did the cervical spine. So since those are the two most common reasons, it's only logical to check those things first. Heart chakra or cervical spine. And, you know, it should be obvious to you. You can't test a muscle that's locked up. You've you got to unlock the patient if you're going to get any meaningful results. Any questions on what you just saw? Okay, the question is, uh, does she need to touch it or can I touch it? And uh, you can do it either way, but it's more accurate if she touches it. And since that's more accurate, you might as well use the most accurate method. Okay, so the question was, what if you don't have green glasses? Um, you could have them look at something green. That would work. Or on occasions when I'm away from the office and I do not have green glasses with me, uh, I can jumpstart the heart chakra with my own hands. Let me, that, let me show you how we would do that. I'd put one hand underneath where the heart chakra is, and I put one hand on top of where the heart chakra is. And I would hold this area until I feel a pulsation in my hands like that. And then I would retest. You could do that in place of the green glasses if, if you didn't have the green glasses. The question is, the pulsation you feel, is that the heart rhythm? No, it's not. No. Um, there's a pulsation that, that really has to do with the cerebral spinal fluid. It's not, it's not the heart rhythm. And if you're ever in question about what are you feeling it or are you not feeling it, you could uh, put your hand like on the wall and make sure it's not there, but it is here. <laughs> that, that, that's one way to tell the difference. Her question is, uh, I did it on the right, but it could have been on, if I would not have found it over here, then I would, I would have checked over here. I would check the other side. It's, it's not um, actually going to be on the right. It could have been on either side. The question was, how would you make the correction if you're not a chiropractor and you don't have an activator? Now, we have activators in the back of the room. <laughs> don't have an activator, you could do this. You, you touch the area you found, you have her breathe in and out, and every time she breathes in, you press, you press, and you press every time she breathes in. That's the shortcut you do when you don't have an activator. Her question was, if you're not a chiropractor, is the activator in your scope of practice? Um, I think you can use an activator whether you're a chiropractor or not. I don't think you have to be a chiropractor to use an activator. Now we can. We're not going to be doing any manual manipulation. That, that's not our purpose this weekend, to teach any manipulation. But we are going to show you how to ask the body questions. You say, body, do you want something mechanically done? Do you want something nutritionally done? Do you want something emotionally done? Do you want something uh, electrical done? And if the answer comes up uh, mechanical, then uh, one way to do that is the activator and one way to do that is what I just showed you breathe in every time I push okay thank you for coming you. up you're asking were we on the spinous process no we're on the transverse transverse process is that a one side or the other? could be one side it could be the other side okay. yeah 
Okay. So you see how important it is to make sure your test muscle is unlocked. You're, you're just not going to get anywhere if you don't establish that first. So in my office, um, I test that on every single patient. I, I, I had the magnet in, in there. I, I put the magnet on the muscle, make sure it's unlocked on every single patient. It just uh, increases your chances of success.